My name is Michelle with Profitable Accounting. Today, I'm going to help you understand the payroll section of QuickBooks and how you can help your clients. Part of what I do is I either do a monthly or a quarterly checkup on my QuickBooks files for my clients. This helps them out quite a bit. My clients who are actually going to the employees payroll center, I will actually check these figures and make sure that they also equal the payroll liabilities report and the balance sheet by going to reports, employee and payroll, payroll liability balances. I make sure to run this for all dates. That way our reports are comparable. By taking this, moving it down here, I can actually see both screens at the same time. By check marking each of these, I get a total here. I have a total down here. Unfortunately, in this case, they don't equal. In order to troubleshoot this, what I will do, I will look up here, like the federal 940. It's for $100. By going to the payroll liability report, federal unemployment also says $100. Perfect. It matches. When comparing these, I'm going to actually, this 941 is a little harder to compare. It's not a one for one. This actually is made up of the federal withholding, Medicare and Social Security for employees, as well as Medicare and Social Security for the company. So in order to make this a little easier, I will click right here on this dollar amount. This will bring up a listing of all the transactions by each section. The first one is federal withholding. By paging down to the total, it's 1519. When I look at the payroll liability report, it's 1481. We found our problem. It's somewhere in there. Now, technically, what usually happens is this total right here that's outstanding would equal the last month or the last quarter, depending on the client. In this case, it still does not equal. By looking at the top, I actually see to negative four dollars, which happens to be the difference there. Also, by looking across here, we see a bunch of others that are also in negative. These could easily be our problem, and when adding them up, we find that it equals a total of thirty-eight dollars, which is the difference between our payroll center and our payroll liability report. We can now actually, outside of QuickBooks, do some research and find out what's actually going on in reality so that we can make QuickBooks equal what it should. The next thing I'm going to do is take the payroll liability report and compare it to company and financial balance sheet standard, all dates. By going down through here, I will see the payroll liability account. This account right here should also equal the total. Guess what? Again, we don't equal. So I'm going to find out why. What are the most common problems? It can be found by double clicking on the balance sheets. You can actually look through here. You can actually sort it by type. The types that actually belong in here are things like liability check, paycheck, liability adjustments. Things that don't belong are things like a write check or a bill or even an invoice. Right here we see a general journal entry. That also usually does not belong here on here and will cause a problem. In this case, this 961.79 happens to be the total difference between the balance sheet and the payroll liability balances. By double clicking on here, we can see what that was actually done within this transaction. At this point, we will probably need to check back with the client, find out what they were trying to do, and make the entries correctly so that all of our balances will work together. Well, now we've found it on the balance sheet side, but there's also reports, company and financial, profit and loss. The profit and loss has a payroll expense account on it. Sometimes it will have one and sometimes more than one. We're going to actually go to employees and payroll, payroll summary, all dates, 
go all the way over to the right where we can see those numbers. On the PNL, we also want to change it to all dates. This number should equal two of the amounts that are actually on the payroll summary report. If we take the total gross pay, add it up with the total employer taxes and contributions, it should equal the payroll expense. Now this is a simple file where they only have one account. In this case, fortunately, they do equal, so we're good to go in this area and have no more research to do. But sometimes, a client will want more than one payroll expense. Be sure that if you're going to do that, that anything that doesn't fall within the payroll, such as payroll charges for having the Intuit download, are not getting the same accounts as your other, your gross and your employer taxes. That way when you run this checkup, it's a quick, easy comparison. If for some reason they didn't match, I may want to double click on here as well also looking for things that don't belong and aren't part of the payroll process. While well, we've looked at the payroll, some of the things that can go wrong, and how to find them. I hope this was of help to you. I'm Michelle with Profitable Accounting.